Hi, this is Joshua with Greater Than Gatsby, back to do another edit for you, and this time with a brand new action set. The set is called the Cult Classics Collection, and as you may know, each of my sets kind of have a tonal theme, and this one is definitely rich and warm. And so I've got this photo for you, perfect for a fall edit. I've had a few people ask about something that's maybe not out in the field, so I tried to do something a little different with this one. This was actually shot by a photographer named Cindy Arthur. She did our family photos, and this was part of the session. So I'm going to go ahead and start with editing this one. I'm going to start with one of our one-click foundations. Let's do There's No Crying in Baseball. And as you can see, that gave it a nice little pop, really clean, and a great starting place for us. The next thing that we're going to do is go into the artistic color tones. For this one, I am going to select Bend and Snap. Play that. It is a little strong, so I'm going to back that down to about 75%. Normally I play a couple of these, but I actually just kind of like what that one did, so let's just kind of keep moving down the set. The next one is one of our movable sunlights. We have variations of these in, in different sets, but this one we kind of made something that would be perfect for the, the rich warmth of this set, so I'm going to play Clockwork Orange. And I'm just going to drag it up into the corner a little bit. That is a little bit bigger than I want. So you can move over here to the dialog box and bring the size down on the percentage scale. So that's what I'm going to do. I actually like where that is, so we'll click OK. And I need to do a little masking. So I'm going to make sure I grab my brush tool and set the foreground color to black since we are on a white layer mask. And I'm going to mask some of this off. So use my bracket key to make my brush a little bit bigger and make my opacity about 60%. And I am just going to brush it off their faces. Because the sunlight is coming back here through the porch, you can tell directionally right here where the sunspot is. So I just want to make sure that there's no sun where there actually wouldn't be in the photo. And uh, let's take it off this brick right here as well because it would not be there either. I think that is good. So next let's go ahead and move down to, I'm going to pass the toolkit brushes for a minute. We'll come back to that in a second. We also have a section for overly warm skin fixers. Usually when you're doing a lot of really rich warm photos you can tend to get some nasty color casts on the skin. I don't necessarily see here or see any here right now but that's what that section's for. Got some background color pops but I am going to do You'll Shoot Your Eye Out Kid. So we'll come down here and run this. And I really like what that did. It gave it a lot of nice contrast, really punched it up. Some of these areas I don't quite like how much contrast it gave, so we're gonna mask this off a little bit, kind of in these darker areas. Let me just go ahead and bring my brush opacity up. And I just don't want these areas to be quite so dark. That is better. Actually, I'm going to run one of the other special effects. We're going to run Why is the Carpet All Wet Todd? And if some of these names seem a little odd, Cult Classes Collection, Movie Quotes, we just kind of had some fun with it. So this is what we're calling Mild HDR, and that's a little strong. I'm going to back that down just a little bit. Alright, that looks good to me. All right, so let's go up here and we're going to add some pops of light in a few places because again, it's a little too dark right now in some of these spots. Again, this is things you have to do when you're, you know, shooting on a porch or around a house, you know, just maybe brighten some areas up. Let's back that opacity down a little bit and add a few pops here and there. Okay, so I'm actually going to add some depth to the stairs and so we're going to go kind of paint some light right through here. Just give it a little bit more interest in depth. 
And you know what? Let's uh, let's do that was party on Wayne, so let's do party off Garth. And kind of the same thing here in the shadows. We're just gonna add a little extra. I'm going to go back to add some light. Their jeans are kind of dark. Just add a little light through there. And I think we're good with that. So, actually, let's do one more thing. So here's a trick you can do. If the skin tones get a little too bright, but the rest of your exposure looks good, you can use this party off Garth on the faces. Just a little pop maybe the hands, just to add a little bit of that depth back so you can kind of see what that did. Here, here's what all of them did together. So we kind of got rid of that natural vignette that was on there through the lens and just through the shadows. All right, I think that looks good. We're going to do a little dodging and burning now, and so let's go to intensify the highlights. And it says right here that it's auto-selecting your dodge tool. And it says to run your exposure around 3 to 5%. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go a little bit quicker. And so let's just up it to around 10%. So I'm going to come here. Let's just start maybe with the pumpkins. And kind of go where the natural highlights would be. Just paint it on. my bracket keys to make these a little smaller, a little bigger as needed. And again, for tutorial sake, I'm probably not going to do maybe as much as I normally would do, but I uh, want to do enough to where you can get the idea. For those of you that can hear the clicking in the background, yes, I am editing with the mouse right now. So that's also why this may be going a little slower than normal. Just going over anywhere on their clothing where there's kind of a natural highlight. go their jeans onto their shoes. Those jeans are pretty dark, so let's up the exposure just a little bit. Here's another trick. If you are using or trying to dodge and burn on really dark clothing, you can even come up to the party on Wayne, add light, and you can just even add some light with this onto their clothing. So you can kind of see what that did. Sometimes that even works a little bit better than a typical dodge and burn, although here's, you know, how it looks with, with the actual dodge and burn. It typically looks a little bit better because it's attacking just the midtones and not the highlights, midtones, and shadows. But for dark clothing, a lot of times this party on Wayne will work really well. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go and we are going to deepen the shadows. And kind of the same thing, but in the opposite spot. So anywhere there is a shadow, I'll come in these pumpkins. Dodging and burning always works really well on pumpkins. I don't know why it's so much fun to color them, but once you're done with your photo, they really pop. Clothing a little bit. Again, 
again, I'm probably not hitting everything I normally would, but I'm just kind of trying to give you an idea of what I would do. So with that, let's come back up here to the color casts. Oh, right there. And let's go to the orange cast. These pots are kind of driving me nuts because they're really bright orange. Just take some of that color out of there. And I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna add light on just a few more things. I know I've used this party on Wayne thing a couple times, but I need to brighten up some of the pumpkins and the flowers just a little bit more. And I think we're good. So just to show you the full before and after, here is the before. Here's the after, the before, and the after. Well, thank you guys for watching the edit. I really appreciate it as always. And if you would like to purchase the Cult Classics Collection, you can now find it at www.creatorthangatsby.com. Thanks for watching.